That's scary, isn't it? Mm. For us to even have a hint of a possible, you know, uh, contract killing. It's, it's unsettling. Mm. And it should be for every Ghanaian because you don't know who your enemy is and mm. what plans he or she has for you. And if there is that opportunity for people to be hired to assassinate, we should all be concerned. Yeah. This is a man who has been in custody for, I think, close to two yeah. or three years now. And I still cannot imagine what would have moved him to say what he said yesterday in open court. Mm -hmm. I, however, feel very uncomfortable with... Mm -hmm. You know, certain things that happened and people said around the time that the Honorable Member of Parliament was killed. Mm. At the time, there were already suggestions from certain quarters that this may have been a politically motivated murder. Mm -hmm. Even though it may not have been pointing to what we are hearing now, mm -hmm. But there were indications that the murder may have had some political connotations as to why and for what. I think it's only further investigations based on this latest revelation yeah. that will you know, establish and provide those answers. Because I don't understand mm -hmm. why even at the time there were those suggestions. And uh, they say, in Akana, kind of they say, Kusi or something. People made certain utterances that without mentioning people's names and institutions suggested that they may have had a reason to be part of that murder. Hmm. And I think it's scary. I think it's unsettling. And I wonder if the gentleman will even be safe in custody as we speak. If what he is saying is true. Hmm. Okay. If what he is saying is true, I wonder if he will be safe in custody. Because he's, he's accusing a government in power. I mean, a party in government. That, that makes it even quite interesting. One would have thought that, you know, maybe... He would have been accusing the party in opposition, maybe because the government, the party in power would have put him up to it. But he's saying that he's now speaking because there were certain agreements that he had with some people in the MPP and they are not meeting that agreement. And he's not unaware that these people may have become powerful by virtue of the, you know, uh, outcome of the elections of 2016. Mm -hmm. So I am worried now for his safety.